We are live again. Now it's not showing me up. Oh. I think the internet's on the fritz. Hello, can you hear me now? I think the internet's crap. Better. Oh, there we go. Give us one second. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Yay! That seems to have gone, doesn't it? Okay, so I'm going to leave that on there just in case I need to check it again. Anyway, can you hear? Hopefully, you can hear me now. Let me, oh, let me check the guitar quick. Anyway, can you hear? I wonder if what happened there was because um, I played the, the, the bedroom lick. Uh, I got knackered, but no, 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 I think it's copyright. I wonder, I wonder if because I played it, it was too loud and it peaked the camera out and it couldn't return back to normal or something. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? These weird bugs that come around. Uh, if you make a John Fashanti board with the past effects C1 Deluxe using on low 3 o'clock your amp. And your amp was the Boss Katana Mark II. Which channel on the Katana would you use? Brown mode. Uh, as same, same as usual. If I, even if I was using the C1 Chorus, the past effects one, I would still use the brown mode. Sounded fine. Yeah! Awesome. That makes me happy. Oh, that was handy. I managed to turn two pedals on with my... My foot. Uh, have you know Liam and John Squires? I ain't heard the album, but I've heard the, the new song they put out, but I wasn't a big fan of it personally. Uh, favorite Pink Floyd song? Time is my favorite Pink Floyd song. It's really disconcerting having myself behind me. Uh, do I play any Alter Bridge? I do, but I can't play it here because, you know, the internet gods might not like it, so. Uh, MOSFET fixed yet? No, the MOSFET's not fixed yet. The MOSFET, I've had some very, very poorly amps. Uh, that's a very poorly amp. Uh, so it's gonna be a while. It, 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 it's in the process, but it's not gonna be anytime soon. Um, it's uh, very, very, very unwell, the MOSFET is right now, sadly. But it will get there, it will get there. It'll be all right. Uh, still using the katana behind me. I am, yeah. Still love it. It's amazing. Happy katana go. Uh, so happy katana go. Yeah, I haven't tried one yet. I'm getting one sent to me though. Would you ever use an iridium or UA amp pedal? Uh, probably. But I would use a boss one. I, I'd have and will. Uh, Bloodstone Guitar Works. Oh, look them up. Next edition to the white guitar family. I don't know yet. We'll find out. Uh, well, God, these go quick, man. By the way, if I miss, if you put a question and I miss it, I do apologise. It goes very quick, and I try to, I try to get them all, but it's very, very difficult sometimes. Ah, oh, don't worry about it. It'll get fixed. The, the MOSFET will live again. Trust me. Uh, where about the other signal chain? Do you put the G two? I put it first, but my first is after the amp, so it goes from the amp straight to the zoom. But that's me. I have a, a backwards way of seeing things, obviously. Uh, you ever sprayed a nitro lacquer from cans onto a guitar body? Yep. Uh, if so, any tips? Take your time. Uh, nice, don't rush it. Nice, nice, uh, nice lines. Make it nice and even. Stand really far back. Well, not really far back, but don't get like, you know, you don't be spraying it like, like that. You want to be a, a nice distance from the guitar body. What's your settings on the guitar? For what? For what? For what sound? Thank you very much. I will. I will do my best. Yeah, nice. Where's the encore? Not here. It's uh, back at my house. 
do you have the zoom before your looper? Um, I don't know what before is, but, but I have my looper. It goes from my amp into my looper into my zoom pedal. That's how I have it. It's the only way I can explain it. Uh, are you going to do any more walking videos? Hopefully, yes. Fingers crossed. When the weather gets better, I will be doing more walking videos. It's a bit grim right now. Favourite fuzz? Hubcap John, Sundial. You cannot beat it. I have yet to find a fuzz pedal better than that, that, that fuzz pedal. I, I have yet to find one. I don't think there is one. Hubcap John makes the best fuzz pedals ever, in my opinion. Session with my McCready's tone. A lot of mid range, lot, lots of mids, not a lot of treble. Uh, well, depending on what guitar you're using, I mean, I mean, you still want a load of mid-range even if it's a humbucker though, to be fair with you. Mike's tone is quite mid-rangey. You don't want it to be quite, you don't want it to be thin. It needs to cut, obviously, but you want, yeah, you want a lot of mid-range. Not a great, you know, not too much treble. Uh, depends on how you are, how you sound, that's the problem. Mike, Mike has different sounds, so it's, it's quite hard to say. But um, not a lot of bass either. Uh, you know, minimal, minimal bass. Uh, gain wise, you need a lot of gain. Mike had a lot of gain, especially at the 10 era. Uh, cheers, thanks so much. Yeah, I know, it does sound like midnight, doesn't it? It's the uh, cloud burst pedal. Hello. I'm just going to check the audio again, one sec, because I thought I saw somebody say it crackling. Ah. Uh. 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 Okay. Okay, we still we still seem to be okay. Um Form over the top bar chords are the best bar chords. I agree. That is so comfy. Uh, thoughts on Neil Young's guitarist? I love Neil Young's guitar playing, personally. Ground comes and goes a bit. Okay, I think it's just the internet connections tonight. It's not, not, not great, sadly. So we just have to go with it and do what we can. Uh, do you normally come up with ideas for songs while jamming with... The band or play. I, I know songs normally come when I'm on my own. I don't really come up with songs when I'm playing with other people. Uh, greetings from Brazil. I'm learning to play before the beginning. Huge inspiration to me. And what you did in Paris Fashion Week is going to be epic. Any tips to improve bends? Yeah, um, I, I always say the same thing about bending. To, to improve your bending, it, you want to be doing this kind of thing. So this is, say, we're in E minor. The metal of all keys. Um... And you want to get to this note by bending up this note. What you want to be doing is playing that note first, fret that note first, and then bend that string up without playing it and see how close you are. And eventually you kind of get an idea for it. Um, another thing, the, the thing that I like to do with Benzo is I like to bend them into a note. Oh, thank you very much indeed, 9.99 for Mike Homer. Thank you very much indeed for that. Man is bound to get a breakaway again. <laughs> Thanks so much. I like to be able to bend up into the note, like going straight to the note's call. But I like to be able to get into it. I, I like to bend up and in. But it's a good, it's a good um, exercise to do it like that, like the way I just uh, said. Whoa, that just went. I have a question. Is it necessary to do the Wilson mod on Live SV3 for the Jump Channel? I'd love to. No, it's not. Um, my Ibanez wires are not modded. They're all stock uh, from a factory apart from one little mod that is just like one of the little rubber feet under the thingy. Other than that, they're not really changed. And they do the John Fashanti thing. Uh, how do you double double tap? 
I have no idea. Double tap? What, that two finger thing? Like, like... Sounds better with distortion. That kind of thing, or what? How do you pinch on mics? Now, that's... Basically what you're doing there is you're catching the string with this part of your finger. The, the, the plectrum hits the string, and then this part of the finger, that bit of skin, catches the string as well after you've hit it. And it should make it scream. You need distortion though. It works in clean, but it's a bit dull. Sounds very plinky. Oh, thank you very much. Cheers. I appreciate that you like my music. Thank you. Oh god, I do apologise. Oh, been one of those days. Thoughts on the Squire? Uh, what are your thoughts on the Squire Stratocaster Silver Series from the 90s? There are well, the Silver Series are like any other series of guitar. There's amazing ones and there's bad ones. You have to judge it on the one you're playing. And also, what you perceive to be bad might be somebody else's good, and what you perceive to be good might be somebody else's bad. So you just basically have to just kind of like take them for what they are. But the Silver Series are great guitars. If you get a good one, my lord, are they amazing. How do you play Eruption? Ask Eddie Van Halen. I can't play it here because copyright. Change the E-flat tuning. Would you use the same gauge of strings? I would, yeah. And would you generally reintonate? No, I mean, I've, I, I have, I've done a lot of gigs where... I always use 10 to 46s and I just down tune them. I don't re -internate. I've never had any massive issues, so no. Uh, I wouldn't re -internate. I wouldn't re -internate. I wouldn't change string gauge. If you keep spanning, spamming, you're going to get blocked. Uh, how would you use a tube overdrive pedal as a main OD of push, personally? I think if one of those kind of pedals, I, I don't know, it depends. It's hard to say. It's really hard to say. Awesome. Yeah, hope you get it working right. Don't know for C two W. Uh, I don't know what that is. I don't know which one that is, sorry. Uh, New Katana Go, yes, hopefully I'll, uh, I've got one coming to me. Favourite John Frusciante live covers? Oh, I don't know. There's too many. I've got, uh, there's too many. I, I love so many of the covers he does. What's the weirdest guitar sound you've used in musical context? I don't know, but I found this one today. Check this out for a weird sound. <laughs> Fun 101 with Dave Simpson. Alien sounding pelt. Yeah, it's uh, it's for Line 6 Delay Bottler. <laughs> Mac Brain Cooler was good. Thank you very much. I'm glad you liked it. Wow, that's really hard. Uh, whoa. Settings, please. Uh, basically, just turn it all the way up on the reverse setting. Uh, what Squire Fender Telly do you recommend? Old or new? Again, it, 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 any... I mean, it, it comes down to what, what feels good to you. If you if you pick up an old Squire bullet and it feels great, then you've got a then you've got a result there. Um... <laughs> Brilliant. You're not completely wrong. I've got to be honest. It sounds a bit atrocious, doesn't it? But I quite like it. Ace. Uh, bought a DS2 because your video is awesome. Have fun with it. Bucket is talking America, aren't you jealous? Yes, I am very jealous. No one ever comes to England anymore. I don't blame them, personally. That's a very interesting question. I'm not sure we're going to answer that uh, Answer that one here. Uh, opinions on Nirvana. I love Nirvana. Grew up listening to them, so... Uh, wow. Uh, gone too fast. Is it possible to get the Don't Forget Me style delay with the Zoom? Yes, very easily. Uh, give me one sec. Oh, 
Too fast, we need to slow it down, boys. I think it's around 34. Maybe about 32, a bit faster. So, yeah, it's kind of like this. Maybe it is 34. I'm just trying to find it. Give me a sec. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah, you can't... That, that's all the zoom pedal. Uh, so basically I've got it set, um, the gain dial is set to 34, the tone dial is set to 60, and the level dial is set to 90. And that gives you the don't forget me kind of delay. But you might have to tweak that because John always John is always tweaking it. Think bucket is from a bearing in Northern California. Who knows? <laughs> Uh, first red hot chili pepper John Fashanti you ever learn. Uh, probably is by the. I think it was by the way was the first song I ever learned, but I learned it wrong. I learned it like everybody, where they thought the bass was was part of the actual uh, was the guitar. Cheers! Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, don't worry about it, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, Try the J Maskis Jazz Master. No, I'm not really, big, I'm not a Jazz Master fan. Every time I pick up a Jazz Master, I just don't get on with it, no matter what I do. So no, I've never tried one, but I'm not really that fond of them, to be honest with you. So, so again, it's real true, I covered during lockdown. I've always been a fan. Thank you very much. Wait for the Red Giant album, Dave. Me too. <laughs> Can't stop. Yeah. Thank you. I really like it as well. I own old HX effects presets still available. Uh, I never made them available, so I don't. I, I uh, not really. Um, nah, don't be embarrassed. We all make mistakes. Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. Steve Harley's gone. Yeah, they're all going now. How many songs are going to be on the album? Yeah, there's going to be 12 songs on the album. Uh, 151 watching only 45 likes. <laughs> yeah. It's fine, don't worry about it. Do you think Joe Bubba's play Final Jams again? Hopefully soon. I mean, to me, they're starting to do that again slightly. It's getting there. It's good. I need to go and see a live. I almost went last concert. Oh, no, I know. I want to go and see the Chili's Peppers live now. They sound amazing. I'd love to go and see them. Uh, powdered food. I don't know. I mean, Angel Delight is amazing. I've got, I've, I've got to be with you on that one. Angel Delight is amazing. Have you ever, have you ever played a, a sprayed a sunburst? No, I've never sprayed sunburst. Uh, I wouldn't even dare. I'm too cack at it. I'll leave that to people like you know, Master Nick and uh, other people. Uh, any song you haven't heard the Chili Peppers play live that you'd love to hear? Not really, no. I mean, uh, I mean, I, I, I've, I've seen them twice, and they played pretty much everything I'd kind of like them to play. Hmm. Has Nick ever offered to build me one? Yes, and he has built me one. I do have a, uh, I have an Oswald Telecaster, and it's the best Telecaster I've ever played in my life, bar none. Um, even the the Mexican telly doesn't come close to Nick's Telecaster. It it really is just like outrageous how good that thing is. Uh, his best song on Vitology. Uh, I don't know. That's hard to say. I mean, I like Indifference. Is, is Indifference on Vitology? I get I get the names mixed up all the time, but yeah, it's it's tough. Uh, been Viscous Vibe. No, I haven't yet. But bear with me. Do you like vintage brand guitars? Uh, I used to. I'm starting to again. 
they had a bit of a wobbly period where they just weren't making anything good, in my opinion. Things were really, really dodgy. Yeah, the difference is on this. Yeah, that's one of my favourites. Uh, but Vintage went through a period where they didn't make very good guitars, like, quality-wise. They were just a bit garbage. But a lot of new ones I've seen and played are really, really good. And it makes me really happy to say that Vintage are great. You know, they're, well, they're good. Again, I'm not going to go great yet because we haven't, we haven't quite raised that thing, but... Some of them are amazing. The Vivo ones that Alan Entwistle's helping make are in insanely good. Don't try McCready's signature. Yeah, it's a great guitar. Uh, what did you think of uh, the Chili Peppers era with Josh? I didn't like it personally, but that's me. Uh, have you ever tried any Boss Wazza pedals? Yes. Yeah, f uh, quite a few. Is Golden Plexi for clean tone still top for you? It is, and that's what you're hearing now. It's on right now. That's this. That's that. Are you planning to go on tour? Uh, love to, but no. We're not planning to go on tour. Uh, we're nobodies. Nobody's booking us yet. You know, we 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 need to get the album out. Uh, we we uh, it's words don't actually express how stressful this period of time is for the band and for what's going on and what we have to do. Uh, in all fairness, Booty, it's really, really difficult. It's really, really hard. And we've we've had some very, very strong home truths about the music industry at, at whole, uh, as a whole right now. Uh, so the idea, you know, the, the ability to tour is out. The ability to gig right now is pretty much out. So it's basically, you know, until we have the album done and uh, a couple other things, um, yeah, nothing. Yeah. What can we as fans do to help? Uh, I'm over here in Texas. Yeah. Um, I'll do a video about that soon. There'll be, there'll be, there'll be. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. I mean, we're still, we're still figuring things out, basically. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's just, it's just tough at this point in time. You know. Back in the day, you had a record company. In this day and age, you don't have a record company to help you. You know, you are on your own, completely on your own. So, um, you know, and it comes down to the M word, but you know, let's not go too far into that. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I mean, um, people who want to help, um, we'll find a way. We will find a way. Um, yeah, Queenie's house is fine now. Yeah, it's all dried out. I'm actually in it, so we're all good. Um, yeah, we're okay. Play like an F minor. Year, actually, isn't it? Uh, give me a shout out to Hoyhan. Hello, Daniel Pritchard, and to your your dad in Hollyhead. Ha! <laughs> Hello. I'm not very good at shouts. No worries. Lovely place, Hollyhead. Been there before. What sounds are you using right now? Uh, all sorts. There's all sorts going on. Missing some of these. No, I'm not related to Steve Hillage. Place there in heaven. Not on your life. <laughs> Jimmy Page will come through that door and punch me in the face. Where did CC get the nickname Queenie from? Um, Blackadder. If you know the British comedy Blackadder, um, you'll know there's a there's a there's a well, there's, there's a character in it called Queenie. It's Queen Elizabeth, but they call her Queenie. That's where it comes from. What reverb am I using? Uh, it's just the amps reverb at this point in time. Uh, I've actually just got a delay on. So that's a delay. This is the amp. So it's just the amp. 
Uh, have you seen a guitar ago? I have indeed. Hopefully got one coming soon. Can you play that tone but turn down the tone up halfway? I can. Sound very dull. So this is full up. Down halfway. Down all the way. Uh, for creating helix patches and selling them, no, I hate helixes. So <laughs> helixes are like hell to me. Uh, whoa, what was that about thirty-five thousand feet? Junior, thirty-five thousand feet on my way from Sydney to Perth. Hello there, hello where all the way up there, should I say? Uh, do you ever feel like you have to constantly become a great guitarist every day? Every day I want to be better at this thing than I was the day before and it stresses me out when I feel I'm not uh, any better. If I can come up with something every day that's just slightly different and slightly interesting, even if it's just a sound, like today I came up with that sound. You know, that, that makes me happy. I feel like there's, there's progression with stuff like that. Uh, can you play that tone again? Play a melodic verse note by note. Uh, I don't really know how you mean. Like like Jimi Hendrix style or what? Uh, Dave, this is a cat printer hurt you and John do you. Uh, gonna, sorry, I missed that. Is a cat printer that you and John Joe use in Skin S going to print a new band? No, they're not. No. We only ever did that one, so. Just random note melody. I call it random note, but yeah. So like that. I'm trying to cover all bases then. Uh, short video playing, can't stop his being. I tried to figure out the little added notes, but it's hard. No tabs. No, I don't really do tabs. Uh, dyslexic, I can't do them. <laughs> no worries. Purple Haze Nice I will do my best, thank you very much indeed Yeah, it's not bad is it? Uh, Boss Turbo Overdrive. No, I haven't. I really want to try the, the, the Turbo Overdrive. I'd be really curious to know what it's like. Thank you very much. Uh, from our Alabama in US. That's cool. Text match pickups in my road worn Strat are not loud enough, but very hummy. What pickups do you recommend replace them with? Uh, I, I don't know because I'm a big fan of Tex... Well, these aren't Tex Max, but Tex Max are like my favourite pickups. So, hard to say. But there is the... Um, Tone Rider, City Limits. Tone Rider City Limits pickups are amazing. They're something I'd recommend. Uh, so long. Which amp do you think is core one for Frusciante during the Imperian era? Of John's amps or an amp that you would use to get that sound? So I'm JF, who inspires you the most? Uh, Jimi Hendrix, Peter Green, Rory Gallagher, um, Paul Kossoff, uh, Mike McCready, loads of people. Scott Gorham. Uh, if you had to, oh, happy birthday, Scott Gorham, by the way. It's Scott Gorham's birthday every, uh, today, everybody. So happy birthday, Scott Gorham. Um, if you had to keep only two guitars, Dave, what would they be? Um, if I had to keep only two guitars, it would be my white strat and my 62 strat. Super he is indeed, very underrated. Uh, what's the difference between Jimi Hendrix's diddly dum and John's? None, nothing. Well, actually, I tell a lie. John's, I need the guitar up here to look like, you know, look like, look like a stupid Instagram guitarist now. But uh, John's come mainly out of chord. So when John does it like a diddly dum. He'll do it in the shape of a chord. And, and Jimmy would do that as well. 
But Jimmy, you know, if, if you're doing... He would do it kind of like that. Uh, but Jimmy also had different kind of things he would do. So if he was playing like this... Jimmy would do it a little bit differently to John, and no one really does it. No one really plays like Jimmy like that. It's great. Uh, what pedals do you think John Frusciante used on the Ataxia albums? Um, not a lot. I don't think he used a lot. Uh, it's hard to say. There's definitely a delay in there. There's definitely a distortion. It's probably DS2, but I don't actually know, to be honest with you. Japanese 8 is OD2. Nice. Do I status quo? Uh, not really, no. Not my, not really my cup of tea. Best Les Paul for the money, Harley Benton versus uh, To me, the uh, East Coast, um, East Coast Revelation. Well, Revelations are a bit more expensive. East Coast are probably the best cheap Les Paul. Revelation, there's some vintages as well, but I haven't tried any new vintage Les Paul, so I can't really say too much on that one. Oh, I see. So the amp, what what amp did he use for? Uh, uh, well, the, the the thing about the Imperian is he's using both, isn't he? He's using the Silver Jubilee and the Marshall Major. I reckon it's a blend of the two, but I think you're hearing mostly Silver Jubilee. I know for some reason people have this mad idea that like it, it's the Major, but I think there's just a slight bit more of the Jubilee than there is the Major. The Major's nice and clean and barky, but I reckon it's a core. It's a bed. But what you're hearing more of is the um, uh, Jubilee, in my opinion. You know what I mean? That, that's what that's what I would say. Billy boop. It's gonna check the audio again. Uh... Yeah, it, it took some time. <laughs> it, 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 it it didn't it didn't uh, it didn't happen overnight. I put it that way. Took a long time to use the little finger to do that. Good home amp, desktop amp. New X. If you're after a desktop amp, but New X Mighty Air is what I recommend. I've not heard of that band. Nope. Audio's fine. Good stuff. Indeed. Can't beat it. Chocolate digestives. Um, Jag. Not really, no, it gets play, but not a great deal, no. I still love it, though. Hello to you in Michigan, hello. No, it's just a milk chocolate one. There's, yeah, the vibrato, I think, is actually coming from John's amp. Um, in dust, it sounds like um, Fender amp vibrato. You can actually get that sound on the Zoom. Uh. It's also that. But I think that vibrato sound comes from John's uh, amp. I don't think it's a pedal. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Who knows? Oh, I've lost a bit of biscuit. No! Catastrophic. Why don't we see you play an SG, do I? I, I love SGs. I haven't found the right one yet. Um, I've owned a lot of SGs. I've got videos of SGs, but I've never found an SG that actually works for me long term. So, still, still waiting to find the one, if you will. Uh, sandpaper, like fine grit sandpaper, like maybe 400 grit sandpaper. Like 400 and then 600. Ace. Nice, the Origin is great amps. 
Are you very conscious of the chord changes when improvising, or do you just find the notes within the scale that you like? I'm not conscious of anything I do when I play. Um, if I am, I play like crap. Um, mostly when I play, I don't think. There's no thought process whatsoever going on in my head. Um, I'm just, it's just in the music. I don't think about like, you know, it goes as far as like, you know, I mean, E minor, that's about as far as it goes. Which one of these columns do you think is better for multi-purpose? Play guitar, s sing, listen to music. I don't know. I really don't know, sorry. Uh, Favourite era of Jimmy is every single one of them. <laughs> All of them. How is Mr. White's Telecaster brother? You don't want to. <laughs> Touchy subject. I'm going for another one. Thank you very much. Glad you like the cover. Cool. Favorite burger. I don't know. The cheeseburger is always good. Uh, do you think cheap red chili peppers would benefit from being a five piece with Josh? No. I don't think so. Are you playing sustainer guitar? I am not, no. Uh you ever tried the the chocolate dishes with the cat? Yeah, they're they're that's just they're just insane. I might have to go and get some tomorrow now you said that. Good evening to you. <laughs> It's a big muff for waste of time if you have a DS2. It depends. Uh, it depends on who you ask, for starters. If you asked me, I would say yes, but I don't like the big muff at all. Uh, so it's it's hard for me to say. But again, it could be some somebody. It could, it could be your. You know, it could be a great pedal for you. I don't know. Uh, personally, I prefer DS2 over fuzz in general. I don't even have a fuzz pedal on my pedal board anymore. But um, yeah. Uh, it's hard to say. For me, yes. For other people, I don't know. Is Red Giant going to have its own social media presence? It already does. Yeah, I mean, it's got... Red Giant's got a Facebook and it's got an Instagram. We'll get a YouTube page set up as well. Oh. I agree about Can't Stop. Uh, but there is some very repetitive things going on with the Chili Peppers, definitely. Starting with Can't Stop every gig must be an absolute chore. Like, personally, I, could, I, I don't even... I can't even listen to that song anymore. It drives me up a wall and back down again. Uh, MXR, Badak, very Fuzz. No, I've never tried it. I need, I need to try it, though. Likewise, thank God. <laughs> Hopefully one day. Tricks to avoiding feedback in the room. Um, I don't know. It's it depends on, on what the sound you want because I I I am just embrace feedback. Feedback is great. I bet you did. I haven't seen that, but I bet it's well good. Yeah, when 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 I saw the Chili Peppers in two thousand and six and two thousand and four, the set lists were amazing. They are a bit boring now. I've got to say, they are a bit repetitive and there's not there's not much scope put into them, I've got to be perfectly honest. But it doesn't feel like it, anyway. Is the Boss SD1 an alternate for a microamp? I hate the microamp, so yeah. Because <laughs> um, it's swapping out the Zoom for the new Zoom G2 for... I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. But that's me. I'm a bit of a stick in the mud.
Yeah, you can try turning. Yeah, I mean, that's something you can do. No worries. Happy to hear that. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully, at some point. Wow, that's going fast. Do you like Unlimited Love? Any favorite track? Uh, there's some, but it's not many. There's not many. I, I, I didn't think Unlimited Love was that great, to be honest with you. <laughs> Do you like Tone Bender style fuzz? I don't know. Uh, just got Paris, Texas. Oh, I missed that one, sorry. Packet of biscuits. Yeah, I know. It, 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 that will happen. <sighs> not really. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, do you have a favourite Nirvana riff to play? Yes, Blue, off Bleach album. It's my favourite. Do you think you could use a guitar and a mini for home recording? Yeah, you could. It may won't sound very good though. Well, for not not for that kind of thing. But I think you can line out. Talking about guitar and mini, so I'll just line out. But I think that'd be fun. Do you have a dream guitar that you still want to buy? No, I don't. Favourite Hillel Slovak riff? Probably Green Heaven. <laughs> Favourite guitar pedal? Ah, oh, I've got loads. Uh, favourite Hendrix machine gun? Mm, too many to pick. Orange Amp's good for JF Tone. Um, to an extent. Um, Orange Amp's are very, very dark. Um, they have a different kind of mid-range to a Marshall. They don't really have the cut. You can get a John Vashanti-esque kind of tone out of an orange, but it's better to use something Marshall voice. Or like a Katana. Boss Katana. <laughs> yes! Top Priority is my favourite album. Oh no, it's not. Photo Finish is my favourite album. Idiot. I got mixed up then. Uh, how would you achieve money for nothing intro tone with your current setup? Oh, easy. Um, stick the wah pedal on, obviously. <laughs> get a bit more there. There it is. Like that basically. Basically all that is is a golden plexi and an Ibanez WH10 wire basically. Joy Division's great. Yes, love Joy Division. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Copyright for nothing. Was that a bit too close? Are Mark Knopfler's um, lawyers going to... Beat me, beat me up now. Who do you think is better at playing Hendrix, Mike McCready or John Fashanti? Um, both. They're both amazing at it. Ibanez in. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm using the Ibanez instead of a Vox because my Vox has died. Um, I finally had to retire my Vox. Uh, the pot's gone in it completely. Um, so I've had to retire my Vox Wah Wah pedal, which I'm very, very, very upset about. But I do have the Ibanez WH10, and I need the Ibanez WH10, actually. Uh, the new album uh, has a solo in it, and I need the bass wah function for the new album. So I, 
I, I kind of like can't use the Vox either way, even if it worked kind of thing. I, I need the Ibanez Wah because there's there's songs that I need the bass. Oh, thank you very much indeed. Thomas Trout, Trouton? I don't know how you'd say it. I hope I've just butchered your name. I do apologize. Uh, um, so have you any tips on how to improve accuracy and speed? Um, it sounds like a cop out, but it really is just practice. I mean, one thing you can do, accuracy and speed, get a, get a simple lick like this. And, um, you know, like picking like this. Again, I look like a stupid Instagram guitarist right now because my guitar is vertical. Don't understand why they do that. But one tip you can do is go up, down. Well, I always start with an up. I know some people start with down, but uh, I always start with an up. So mine is up, down, up. Just get a simple lick like that and just gradually get going faster. I can't play it fast like that, it feels weird. And eventually you kind of get to a speed where it's like that, but it's still the same lick. Same kind of pattern, up, down, up for me. Uh, you might want to try down, up, down. Give it a whirl either way. Uh, for me, like I say, it's up, down, up. I, I always start on an up, I don't know why. But again, just, just go through varying degrees of it. And also, it, it's one of those licks you want to be doing where you kind of, if you're sat watching a film or you're sat watching TV, just sit there and just do it unconsciously. And just eventually you, you, you get to a certain speed where you can just kind of uh, go mad. Give us a taste of that song with the bass function. Yeah, happily. So this is the bass function of the WH-10. <laughs> So that that's that's what I mean. That's uh, that that is the the sound of the um, this song. You know, I need that for this next album. So uh, that's why the that's you know. So I was gonna have to change out the Vox anyway because I need the WH10 for that sound. So. Uh, how to play it for Shanty Series after all your years knowledge? Since you played the first series, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I hesitate to do any go back on myself with the John for Shanty series. It's just like I'll just repeating everything I've already said. I don't mention of uh, Vox Bar as much as the old US. <laughs> hey, uh, you're a thought of doing Halal Slovak related tutorials? Not really, no, because I don't really know enough about Halal, and I don't think I would do him justice. So I don't really want to delve into that because I don't feel that like you know, I don't, I'm not I I don't know him well enough to do it. Any obscure recommendations for fuzz? Yes, Hubcap John. Hubcap John. Hubcap John. Hubcap John. Makes the best fuzzies in the world, bar none, in my opinion. Uh, Terry Cat, I don't know who that is, sorry. 50 foot Queenie. <laughs> Cheers. Can we do a tribute to Rory? I would love to, but I can't play any of his stuff. Uh, when you were playing Squire Classic Vibe Strats, did you feel that the neck felt a bit tight and a bit big? Yes. Um, they don't... Squire Classic Vibe necks, as much as I love Classic Vibes, they do tend to uh, fatigue my hand rather fast. So yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Virgin Prunes. No, I'm not really a big fan of prunes. <laughs> I hope I wasn't band recommendation then. <laughs> Favourite Ataxia song? I don't know. Uh, I can't remember names, but I do, I do like Dust, obviously. Dust is a great song. There's some others as well, but I can never remember the names of them. At what point were you able to start picking up songs by ear? It was quite early on for me because 
I found tab hard to read. But when I first started playing tab, I didn't know why I was struggling to read tab. Um, I later found out it's because I'm dyslexic and I can't read tab. Well, I can, but it's not very well. It's it's not worth my while to try and sit there and read tab. But um, so I had to learn fairly early on to read or use my ears. And I reckon it's a better way to do it in the first place anyway. You need to get your ears going. Do you like Runaway Solo from B-Side? Yes. Uh, <sighs> Brian Eno. Not the biggest fan. Uh, hardest Pearl Jam song for you to learn? Uh, I'll tell you what I haven't learned. Pearl Jam, wise, is Stone Gossard's chorus part to Alive. I still don't know how he, what he does. Because if you listen to the isolated guitar track of Stone in Alive, what he's doing in the chorus doesn't seem to make any sense. His rhythm is weird. The notes are weird. It's insane. It's so good. Montreal confuses. <laughs> I couldn't say whether Josh, Josh was singing. Turns out it was Nira. <laughs> I can't remember that one sounds now. Uh, have you done a tutorial on superimposing pentatonic grids over each other? I think... So I don't know. It. I, I did a video called Unlocking the Neck. Uh, it might be in that. <clears throat> Software amps, they're all well and good. It's not for me, though. I, I prefer proper physical amps. Uh, do you ever go to riff or chord progression when testing out a guitar? Not really. No, I just kind of mess around. Any plans to get glossed away or South General? I don't know. Um, I can't say anything about gigs right now, sadly. I really don't know. Uh... It got Brad. Brad the guitar artist is on here. Hello, Brad. How are you? And if you don't follow Brad, you should follow Brad because the man's a genius and one of the best guitar players on YouTube. Trust me. Um, what was that one about the Katana? Uh, just purchased Boss Katana 100 Mark II. Single speaker out of the box. It sounds bad. Bit muddy. Close to awful. Factory reset it. I'm glad to hear that. I was watching your video earlier on today. Oh. I was watching, I watched many of your videos. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thought about starting your own internet channel where you can play what you want for your fans. So many YouTubers are doing that right now. I don't know how you do that. I mean, I don't really care for the copyright nonsense. It kind of annoys me. What annoys me most about the copyright license thing is like, you know, some of my videos just get blocked immediately and don't come out. Um, I've done that in the past, but now I, I, I actually took Brad's advice and... Uh, dispute it. And when you dispute it, you pretty much win all the time, you know. Um, I wish I'd done that sooner. Uh, but yeah. Let's look forward to that guest spot. I know, yes. Do you find a way... Uh, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Uh, hopefully soon. I say things are a bit manic uh, right now. Things are just like... Well, things are hell at this point in time. It's really not fun. Um, things are just going in all in the wrong directions. Uh, it's, it, it feels like anyway, but I'm getting there, Brad. Trust me. I will get there. I will promise. Uh, if you could have John Fashanti watch one of your videos, which would you pick off the top of your head? Awesome. No, I, I, can't, I can't wait for that. That'd be amazing. Um, John Fisher, if John could hear one of my songs off the top of my head, which one would it be? It'd be one of my happy birthdays to him. Uh, that'd be great, but you know, such is life. Or it'd be great for him to see me doing the uh, Before the Beginning at Paris Fashion Week. I'd love for him to see that. I'd love to know what he thinks to that. <laughs> Never happened, but you know. Uh, if anything goes wrong, have a coffee and Belgian chocolate. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to fix it sadly this time, but... Great comment. 
Great comment. <laughs> I gotta say, if he was on that, I don't think he'd look like he did. More guitar lesson videos. I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't know what to teach. Uh, you know, I've, I've got, I've, I've done a lot of guitar lessons in the past. It's, 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 it's tough to know what else to, to teach, really. Have you heard? No, I don't live in London. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I've never heard of him. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, favorite Rolling Stones song or album? Not really, no. I mean, I don't listen to them a great deal. Um, favorite mix and match in terms of amp, head, and cabs? Oh, I don't know. Anything. Blending blending amps and cabs is, and just in general is just fun. You never know what it might come out. Uh, can you play a show the John Fashanti Wallet? Which, which one? The man has like a million Wallets. Uh, what comes after learning your five position A minor, position in A minor? Learn it in B minor. Learning it in B flat minor, learning it in C minor, learning it in C sharp, learning it in all the keys. Once you've got it in one key, learn it in all the others. Oh, thank you very much indeed, Gary McLe uh, McLennan, uh, for the one night. Thank you very much. For me, John Fashanti, I'm showing this channel. <laughs> thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, low or high action or somewhere in between? Somewhere in between. It's not high, not low. Nice. Excuse me. How many albums have you made? Maybe a quick rundown on them. I don't know, a lot. Um, I think it's in the 20s. I can't remember. Hang on. I'll, I'll check for you. I'll give you a count. Blicking Down in California. Oh, that, the, the one that goes... Um... That one. Sorry. I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. Oh, one at the end of the song, a big crazy one. I've got a video on that. Uh, what's your favourite John Fashanti solo stuff? Uh, for me, Mr. Brad, it's the uh, Mind's Inside of Emptiness. It's it's just the rocky the rockier grunt like grungier stuff that I, I like. Yeah, you just kind of just like yeah, you've got a big bigger sound. Dangerously obsessed with the man, don't you agree? It's somewhere in the region of about 20 albums. So, like got it. Yeah. Yeah, the, the Neander stuff's got such a great vibe to it. Even though, yeah, obviously it's a very, very dark period of time for him. But it has the, 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 the whole kind of like, you know, eight, uh, well, four track tape recording, kind of like the, the grittiness of it and the erratic nature. So good. I love that um, kind of backwards stuff you can get going as well. Like. Try that again without that delay. When you go to like stuff like. That kind of thing. I had some shoots you whole CD. Apparently that's rare. Yeah, it is. Yeah, uh, I've never actually seen it. 
Come to think, uh, get, to be honest, I've never seen a physical copy of uh, Smiles from the Streets You Hold. I know John Fashanti really doesn't like that album. Um, it just, he just doesn't like it. Apparently, it's just, I think it reminds him of like, you know, I think because it was just like, ah, oh, good. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, I think it's because it just reminds me of a bad period or got stolen. Uh, I, I have that a lot of my albums. I used to have that album. I don't know where it's gone. And then you find out somebody nicked it. Can you play a Hendrix Hey Baby? Uh, not really, no, because the Hendrix Estate just doesn't like playing Jimmy's music, so I won't play Jimmy's music if that's what they want. If they don't want to earn money from other people promoting his music, you know, and keeping his legacy alive, that's on Janie Hendrix. I can't play for I can't play songs uh, if the live stream gets caught. I don't really want to do it. I'll save that for Instagram. <laughs> Sid Barrett era of Flint Floyd, yeah, kind of, some of it, some of it's a bit too weird for me. Scottish Power Trio, High no, I've never heard of them. Video on Open C, uh, I can do a video on op Open C, but I don't really, I don't know much in Open C. I know the basics of Open C, so I'll I'll do that. Just looked it up. CD's like two hundred dollars. What? That's insane. It's like, I'll be nicking it if I find it. Joking. Joking. I won't steal things. Favourite Johnny Marr guitar, Jaguar. Everything sounds good in Open Sea. I agree. Open Sea is one of my favourite tunings. It's gorgeous. You have a favourite rail chip of his? Oh, sorry. I missed that one. Christ crack. It's so quick. It's so quick. <coughs> My wife was your guitar player and please play some Rory Gallagher. I can't play some Rory Gallagher, but I can imitate some Rory Gallagher. Terrible Rory impression, but hopefully you get the idea. <laughs> Nick Drake, Elliot Smith or Jeff Buckley? Jeff Buckley for me. I do like Nick Drake and I do like Elliot Smith, but Jeff Buckley's got it for me, I'm afraid. What is written on the headstock? It says... Frashanti, Mark III, by Oswald Guitars, Handmade in the Netherlands. Which makes me very happy. I love that. Custom decal. To my knowledge, I think there's only ever one other guitar in the world with this decal on it. Rory taps on the strings. Oh yeah, Rory, Rory was a big tapper. He was a big pinch harmonic guy. He tapped a lot. Rory would do this a lot where he would, he would use his pick sometimes for tapping, but he would do this kind of like... And it sounds like really chaotic. And he would do stuff like... That kind of thing. And he'd also hit harmonics and then bend them behind the note, so... That kind of thing. So, very cool. <laughs> Favourite song on Shadows Collide. Second to last. I can never remember what it's called. But the second to last song on Shadows Collide is my favourite. Can you do early sabotones with your current setup? Uh, I mean, kind of. I mean, if I... Down there, shouldn't it really? I 
mean, that's not really kind of early Sabbath. That's almost kind of like heaven and hell era, but you get the idea. Love Carvel. Yeah, Tattoo Lay is a great song. Lady Say, Chris Kennard, Eddie Vedder. Oh, all of them. <laughs> Most money you would spend on a guitar. Depends how much money I had. <laughs> can you play an Alice in Chains facelift? I can play them all, but I can't play them. Uh, do you have a favourite Red Hot Pepper song from Greatest Hits sessions? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Hard to say. Uh, Dave, would it be cool if you did a good job? Possibly so. I'm, I don't know. I don't know. I'd, I'd like to do some more Buckethead covers. That'd be fun. What picks do I use? The, the These ones. The point sixty Dunlop ones. Pickups are in here. These are Oswald 62 pickups. Heaven's Gate and Incredible Vibe. I, I agree. Heaven's Gate is a great song. <laughs> If you had five grand, what vintage guitar would you buy? Probably none of them, because can you buy it? Yeah, no, you can. Um, if I had five grand to buy a vintage guitar, probably like a 70s Strat. Like, um, I don't know, like a mid-70s Strat or a mid-70s Tele or a Jag, like a like a 70s Jag or something like that. You can probably get a Jag, I think, for about five grand. It's been messed about with. <laughs> Forties or fifties, Martin. That's I mean that's that's a good, good call as well. Yes, some more bucket. Hello, John Joe. How are you doing? Everyone, say hello to Mr. John Joe Gaskin, everybody. And if you're not following John Joe Gaskin, you should be following John Joe Gaskin. That's true. They are a very good investment. I can never, I can never justify paying too much for an acoustic because I, I don't play acoustic enough. Uh, I hate the idea of having like a really, really expensive, lovely acoustic just sat rotting away. Although I do have some really nice acoustics that I really, really like. Um, my favourite is actually my Mountain, the rip-off Martin that I got. It's, that's just such a cool guitar. Uh, even late 70s, Boat Anchor Strats are pressure that kind of money now. Yeah, they are, yeah. I mean, my 79 though, my 79 Strat is not heavy. I don't really know why, I mean, not, not all heavy. Do you know Tash Sultana? She makes some music. Not really, no. Uh, I don't know her, sorry. Uh, can I sing for money in Minnesota? I don't know. Think about acoustics is... True. Very true. Age... Because that, that's the thing is like... Acu brand new acoustic guitars don't... Some of them can sound good. But they never sound great, in my opinion. Like, you know, whereas you pick up an old... Like an old Martin or an old like Gibson acoustic or like an old... Even like a harmony, kind of old acoustic guitars, and they sound insanely good. They uh, we used to, uh, when I was when I worked at Old Hat Guitars, we had a nineteen seventy four Martin D twenty eight. Still the best acoustic I've ever played. It just had that rich sound. It was so even, uh, like E to E, and just my God, that thing sang. We also had a, a Gibson called the Gibson Gospel. Uh, an acoustic guitar called the Gibson Gospel. It was a big-bodied guitar. It was really weird, though, because for a big-bodied guitar, the guitar was super quiet. Not understanding, really the understanding that one of why, why the guitar was so quiet. But, um, yeah, the seventies considered a bad era for Martin. Too. I know. It's mental. Like, I don't I don't know why. There's some amazing 70s... Yeah, there is some shit. There is some crap Martins from the 70s as well. But... Um, but yeah, Gibson, Go uh, Gibson Gospel was a great, great guitar. Stunning guitar. Really quiet, but my God, rich. Ri like, the sound was so rich, it'd make your hair stand on end. Uh, which favourite live John era, apart from 99 to 0? Uh, about 2006, 2007. Is there a band that you used to like, but makes you cringe now? Um, Dunno. Hard to say. Can you say Lost Profits? <laughs> Is that even a... Can you even mention that band anymore? I feel so sorry for the members of that band, man. Jesus. Imagine being in that band. 
In a couple of years when I'm homeless, maybe that might be the case. Papa Roach makes you cringe now. Yeah, I mean, I've got. Yeah, I mean, I'll go with Papa Roach definitely. I, I I used to love Papa Roach, and then like listen to him now, it's a bit like oh, I don't know about that anymore, lads. <laughs> I never liked Limp Bizkit, so. But I know what you mean. Creed. Snake. Ian Watkins is the Jimmy Savile of singers. You're not wrong. Uh, never missed one. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Greetings to you from Finland. I have cousins in Finland. Do you ever see... Uh, did you ever see Alice? Uh, no. Yeah. Well, double stops. These are double stops. Again, assume Instagram guitar pose number 579. So where you bend two strings at the same time, so there, on the 14th fret, I'm fretting the G and the B, and I'm bending both at the same time. And you can vibrato, you can just play it straight, and you can do it again on the 12th fret. That's a double stop. You ever played a Travis Bean guitar? I have played a Travis Bean guitar. They are weird. Don't play them in the winter with cold hands and a cold guitar is what I would say. Are you still in Resident, Resident Evil, which is the favourite for series? Uh, Resident Evil 2. Thank you very much, Stu Crombie, for the £10. I appreciate that. Thank you very much indeed. I really appreciate that. My son roaded for the biscuit years ago. Good Lord. <laughs> Turn a clear pointy sound with a DS2. Uh, it's just controlling it. Resident Evil 7 in VR is an amazing experience. I oh, know, I'd love to try it. What's that? Sorry. Uh, I'm new to make guitar, guitar action adjustments. Is it okay to just tinker around and feel for sound or should no? No, yeah, just mess around. Mess around until it feels right. You won't break it. it yeah, you'll be all right. Remember Enter Shikari? Good lord, the Enter Shikari, remember them, yeah. I wish I didn't. I don't like them. But that's me. Yeah, eight. Uh, do you think the MXR Dynacomp can sim... sim no, it's not the same pedal, it can't, no. Do you like Libertines? Not really, no. I never really got into them. Uh, thinking of making a tribute to my departed dog and I would like... Uh, Lord. Try D minor. A minor. F major. C major. Then B flat major, C, uh, F major, and then C major. So D minor, A minor, F major, C major, B flat major, F major, and then C minor. 
Try something like that. Or modify that. No worries. Uh, if you could have two styles of guitar, what would they be? Strat and Les Pauls, I'll tell you. Either. Strat and Jaguars. <laughs> Jaguars are the only other guitar. I love Les Pauls and I love Telecasters, but for me, uh, if I could only play two styles of guitars, it would be Jaguars and Stratocasters. <laughs> Favourite Yngwie? I don't know, it'd be hard to pick. I haven't, no. Hello. If I could afford to, I would. Thank you. <laughs> student Vintage, yeah, I play the Student Vintage a lot, a little bit. I agree, definitely. Can you play that on streams or can you not get more? Let's do a different case. It's really weird in a different key. <laughs> Yeah, it did, but the the Ed is a different thing altogether. The the, the MXR Dy Dynacomp's a different beast. It, it's just a different beast. Like fishing, I used to fish a lot when I was younger, but I don't really do it anymore. If I ever get hold of a Pacifica, I will. Bloody Holly's, I don't know it. Sorry. Who are the guitarists you find overrated? Oh, loads, but that's me. It's just my opinion. It doesn't mean anything to anybody but me. I'm happy to. Be, I'm happy to hear that. Thank you. Cool. I do like compressors. Yeah. Do I play skiffle? No, I don't. Do one of my solos. I don't know which one. Is there any events come to Canada shows? Not yet. No. Fishing is great therapy. Indeed, I agree. Do you use the pass chorus ensemble? Yeah, I mean, every now and again. I don't have it on my board, but I love that pedal. It's fantastic. I haven't tried to do any of Death by Audio, no. Uh, what do you think of George Harrison's playing? Yeah, it's, it's good. Wow, she's going really fast all of a sudden. Parliament Funkadelic, mm, yes. J JS450, thinking of buying one, what do you think? Which one's the 450? I don't remember which one that is. I mean, I would say yeah. <laughs> They're great guitars. Put my jackhammer before the DS2. You want your jackhammer on the output side of the DS2. So it wants to be DS2, uh, jackhammer and then DS2. But the jack the jackhammer wants to be on the output side of the DS2. What's your favourite guitar solo of all time? I don't know. You gonna try making a DIY 412? No, definitely not. It would not go well. Yeah, JS 300s are insane. The backspan guitar. Uh, yeah, it's, it's all right. 
Uh, I like tele pickups higher than strats. I have pickups on every guitar apart from Telecasters really low, but Telecasters for some reason I have them really high. Uh, 2020 Pro Strat 2. I feel like the pickups are a bit meh. Do you have an opinion? Uh, I don't really have an opinion, but if you don't like them, change them. I don't really listen to Phil Sace. No, he's a great guitarist, but I don't really listen to him a lot. Sorry, I'm missing some of these. Did you always be a singer and, uh, excuse me. Ugh. Did I always want to be the singer and guitarist in a band? Yes. Uh, because they're my songs. Because I wrote them and I, I, the, the, the lyrics are about things that I experienced. No one else is going to be able to sing that. So. Rosebud on my pro boards, don't care. <laughs> neither, neither one's great. Neither one's, the, neither one's the worst. Neither one's the best. They're just, they're both, they are what they are. Do I like fish? Not really. Well, I, I, I do, I, to an extent, I love tuna. Hollow body semi hollow guitars. Uh, kind of, not not my biggest fan. Thoughts on MG Stratocaster and DS2 is yes. God, it's weird to play guitar at white. Um, why do people do that? Flying V's, I love flying V's. I agree, tuna sandwich would be great right now. Play Fire the Bumblebee. I can't do that. I don't have any strong opinion. I don't have any strong opinion. I, I do. Oh, Tom Bukovac. This is because of this is this is Tom Bukovac's fault. I know it's a Mark II. Uh, it's not the original, but that's his fault. Um, the man is literally one of the most insanely amazing guitarists of all time, and space. Um, sorry, uh, strong opinions. No, I don't. I do. Well, I do for me, but my opinions only mean something to me. You know what I mean? I don't want anybody else, no one else should care about what my opinions on things are because you have your own minds to make up, you know. What I have strong opinions on um, only matters to me. You know, it doesn't matter what I think or don't think when it comes down to your thoughts, you know. Because um, what works for me, what I like, don't like, isn't what you like or don't like, you know. There's going to be somewhere, somewhere in there where we're going to clash and the way I see it is why why word your opinions, you know, because they only mean something to you. Uncle Larry, yeah. How often do you get a day where playing doesn't feel as good or what do you do to get past it? Keep playing. <laughs> no, uh, in all fairness, if you're playing and it doesn't feel great, don't play, put the guitar down. Fisher Great Scales, <laughs> brilliant. No, I haven't tried the not a clone. No, no, I mean, no, I mean, like, I say, there will be places where people will agree, but, but, you know, it's one of those things. What's my go-to Indian takeaway? I mean, the one in the lab is called the Asher. It's amazing. Uh, when Dave Simpson seen it to be available? Never. Uh, thoughts on Iron Brew? Oh, can't tell you. Personally, for me, not a big fan, but that's me. Again, like I say, only means something to me. It doesn't mean, my opinions mean absolutely nothing to anybody else but me. G11 versus the G6, I don't know. I mean, they're both great. Original Alien is the greatest movie ever. That's what you believe. For me, I like the second one more. Hello. Favorite Oswald guitar? Um, my red strap. 
is my favourite one. Uh, are you going to be demoing any of the JFX soon? Yes, yes, some point soon. When are we getting Resident Evil 2 stream? When I can figure out how to stream. <laughs> What's your favourite song from Unlimited Love? Uh, I don't know. I mean, what is the lineup of Unlimited Love? Hang on. Computer's gone mad. Unlimited Love wasn't one of my favourite albums, to be perfectly honest with you. I found it a little bit uh, not disappointing, but slightly uninspired. Uh, what You Thinking is probably my favourite song, actually. Whatever it is. Uh, but yeah, that's probably, one, that's probably my favourite. That song really had to grow on me, though. But it's probably my favourite one on there. Um, Heavy Wing. Heavy Wing's a great song as well. Yeah, I mean, that's another song that had to grow on me. But my lord, that is a, that is a great song. Heavy Wing's a great song. Uh, do you start your East Coast Gold Top? I do. It's sat just literally there. Do you generally do you genuinely promote Zoom because many say it's shitty units compared to Boss Line Six? Yeah, I do. I I I always I've used Zoom for ages. Well, I've used Zoom forever actually. Uh, the Zoom G two point one you have had on my board forever and will not. I don't like doing gigs without my Zooms. I love Zoom. I I will I will defend them for as long as I can. You know, because I think they're great. I really do. I'm not saying it for any reason. But they, they don't endorse me. They don't sponsor me. They don't send me anything. They don't talk to me. I just like their products. Same as Dear Dario. How high or low is your pickups? On this guitar, they're fairly low. You can kind of see. Uh... My only amp is a Black Star ID core. It works in the face too. Cool. Favorite song to record only water. Oh, that's really tough. I don't know. I don't know. There's far too many of them. Looks like a Rory Gallagher strat. It's a John Fashanti inspired strat. It's my John inspired relic. Uh, have you ever used amplitude? No, I don't. I don't. I I I like real amps. You know, things you turn on and play through in a room with a big cap. What is your idea of dream venue to play with your band? Like a theatre, it'd be my ideal venue. Not that we'll ever get to do it again, maybe. I don't know, who knows. Highway Star or Bad Penny? Bad Penny. Come on. <laughs> uh, I can't play a real tube when I have neighbours, but my dream would be to have them ideally. Cool. You never know. I wonder why there are no DS2 codes. I wonder the same thing. That makes me wonder as well. It's like, why is there no DS2 codes? It's really odd. The fact that every other pedal in the world has been cloned but a DS2. Still no one clones a DS2. The DS2 is a DS2. It's really odd. Really strange. Just been to the beer shop under an ocean of public clone. <laughs> Uh, do you ever see Roy Gallagher live? No, I never got to see him, sadly. And I'm jealous because you did. <laughs> 63 Sunburst. Jazzmaster, nice. Oh, thank you very much indeed, CF, for the 100 D DKK, whatever that is. I don't know what that is currency-wise because I'm ignorant and stupid. 
uh, pass a virtual hat around or something, would you be interested in how to play John Fashanti play how to con oh how to continue the had players? I, I mean, you don't you don't have to you don't have to get me money to do that kind of thing. It's just I don't know with the John Fashanti series. I don't really know what else to do other than what I've done. If that makes any sense, like you know, I I I, I through that entire series, there's like twenty two hours. Well, on my channel, there's like over thirty hours of content relating to John Fashanti and how to get his sound, uh, how he plays, his techniques, all that kind of stuff. I mean, the only way I can really think of doing it is like revisiting it. Is like is like breaking it down into small videos. I just don't know. It just it feels weird. I don't know. I don't know. What motivates you to keep trying? Uh, I love it. Uh, I just, I just love the guitar. It's, it's, it's like my best. It's my best friend. Music is my best friend, and it's always there for me. So, it never enters my mind to not try to be better, because it's always there. You know, I need it. I need it to be. Um, I just need to be better at it. You know, I, I need to be able to understand it better and and let it flow through me in the way it wants to and I have to be ready for that kind of thing so over jam don't need the sensation it's Harvey Band classics like no we haven't no are you planning on doing new Hendrix tutorials in the style of, uh, maybe, I don't know. What style of neck is on that Fruit guitar? Uh, this neck is a copy of my 62 Strats neck uh, that Nick copied for me. And he got it pretty much bang on. It's a little bit thicker up this end than my 62, but other than that, it's really close to my actual 62. Yeah, true. That's a really cool finger exercise. Ah. Ah. Where's the car burst in this? Where, where, where's the car burst video? Coming soon. Coming soon. I don't know if it's this month or next month. I can't remember. How are you getting on with the what's that? Sorry, the silver series. Um, yeah, indeed. Yeah, uh, I love the silver series. It's not. It's not with me at this point in time. It's actually back home. But I love it. It's a great guitar. It, everyone who picks it up goes, "This is great." I have changed. The, I have had to change the nut on it though. The, uh, the black nut was binding the strings up a bit too much, so I changed it. Yeah, the car burst is um, a, a heaven pedal. Pickups would you recommend for a Frusciante style 62 strat sound? Trouble emulating it. Something like uh, what I'd recommend is Tex Mex pickups or uh, Tone Rider City, City Limits pickups. Fender do a 5762 loaded pickguard. They, yeah, uh, cool. That's cool. Uh, why has Squire not done a bullet Sonic Jag? I don't know. It's weird, isn't it? Yes, I never went anywhere. But yes, I'm here. Uh, do you prefer John's playing Dana California version hammer on? Uh, 
Uh, I I prefer it either wah wah or no effect at all. Uh, the, the Moog pedal, you always just seem to have trouble with it. <laughs> Sounds great just without the without anything. So cool. Hello there, greetings to you as well. Oh, I'd eat some pasta right now, I'll tell you that. Uh, Greg, I'm a sub $500 combo amp for a beginner. Boss Katana. Am I a broken record yet? Probably. Fun exercises, practice, uh, exercises for practice trials. Well, the thing I was just doing was a triad. It's three notes. And I've just come up with that. That's really fun. There's another really cool triad thing you can do, which is a gypsy jazz thing. So you got this, uh, like a D7 kind of shape. So uh, foot, uh, your middle finger, second fret on the G, first finger, first fret on the on the B, and then your ring finger wants to be on the high E on the uh, second fret. And what we're going to do, we're going to move up from the, basically, there, 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 there. So we're going to go, basically, if you think about this being the, uh, think about that being the main fret. So 2nd fret, 5th fret, 8th fret, 11th fret, 14th, and then 17th. And then what we want to do with this hand is make this... So it's like a raking down. Oh, thank you very much indeed for that uh, CF again. Thank you very much. No worries. I'll see what I can do. And thank you very much indeed. I really appreciate that. So uh, coming back to this thing. So this, this little rake thing. So we're raking down all the strings and then we come up. So that's the sound we want. And then putting it all together, it sounds like this. It's really cool. Then you can go back down. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Please give us the voice. Zal's an amazing guitarist, yeah. Uh, diminished chords. Well, that's a seventh there. I suppose as you're going up, it'd be diminished. I don't really know. Yeah, I suppose it is. I mean, that's a D, D7, isn't it? But I suppose we have a D in it, but. You can do this run to end it. <laughs> Django Reinhardt uh, runs. Insane. Scar tissue tutorial, yeah. Uh, any other diddlyums you recommend? Uh, Jimi Hendrix ones. Stuff like, you know. Stuff like that. I mean, just. Jimmy stuff is great in general, really. What do you think the characteristics of a Stadium Arcadium era tone are? A little bit cleaner and a little bit brighter than By The Way. And same same principle for the... It's bearing it thing. It's just a little bit brighter sound. Not as distorted. You know, it's, it's a lot cleaner. The album sound is... Uh, well, on some tracks. Some tracks, it's, it's not as clean. It's a bit dirtier, but yeah. I also call them diddly dumps. Yeah, I know. My, but it, it was my uncle actually who came up with that uh, word for me. You know, he goes, he, he just randomly said, "Oh, diddly dumps," and I was like, "Oh yeah." So I didn't. I I can't hold uh, like rights over that thing. My my uncle came up with it first. Thoughts on a Charvel? I can't decide between. I don't know. You'd have to try them. I mean, that would be my uh, that would be my advice. Is try both if you can. You know. Favourite cheesy rock song? Everything I Do, I Do It For You by Mr. Brian Adams. 
Yeah. And to be honest with you, it's an absolute masterpiece of a song. It really is. Um, it's just insane. I don't know how you write a song that well. I really don't know how. The fact he probably, he, he said he wrote it in about 15 minutes is insane. And it's got these gorgeous bits in it where he kind of goes, but he does this. Major to minor, and it's just like, oh, what are you, Brian, what are you doing to me? Do you ever see the Chili Peppers live so much similar to Love? No, I can't afford it. They're too expensive right now. New guitar to go yet? Not yet, hopefully soon. I'm going to have to get off in a minute. I'm knackered. Have I seen Nickelback live? No, but I'd like to. There's another lick for you, the Woody Woodpecker lick. Sounds great with distortion because they just clash like... Thanks for Philex for inspiring those. <laughs> Who takes the bigger cut, YouTube or Patreon? YouTube. YouTube takes a huge cut. I think YouTube, uh, in my personal opinion, I think YouTube takes about 90% of what a channel earns. But that's me. It sounds like a Slipknot riff. I know what you mean, yeah. Newish, small, multi cheap, cheap. Multi effects amp modeler. Am I gonna sound? I'm gonna sound like a broken record again. I know the katana isn't a modeler, but I was gonna say boss katana because it's just the best thing in the world. Ah, oh, Luke. Folks have super chats. Yeah. Uh, how to get the jump shade tone with boss DS2 and boss Mark Two. Oh, the katana. Uh, use the brown mode. Uh, on the katana all the time. Never uh, I use the brown mode. Turn the gain all the way down though. So brown mode, gain all the way down, volume all the way up, EQ, hard to say because mine's different. Uh, a lot of presence, a lot, you know, a lot of, not a lot of, no treble, bits, a little bit of bass. But yeah. Will I join TikTok? No. Never. This is what I say to TikTok. Anyway. Pod HD 400, nice. Uh, boss, boss have got some great multi effects units. Maybe we'll look at some boss stuff. How loud are your amps set when you play at home? My neighbors hate me. I don't set my amps very loud at all. They're normally about seventy eight dB. My amps are. They're not. They're not loud. King Crimson Elephant Talk. Yeah, great song. Uh, yeah, let's Seraphonics much. Not really. No. Do I have a day job? Yes, this. YouTube. YouTube is uh, my job. King Crimson admit, I agree. Favorite Chili Peppers album is Californication. What's your day routine like? Do you play guitar all day or just when you get a chance? I tend to play pretty much all day, uh, as much as I can. Depending, well, when, when life doesn't get in the way, which it is a lot these days. I had it a second ago. I can tell I'm getting tired because I can't concentrate. Going okay, to school, what's your favourite song off Blood Sugar Sets Magic? Um, I don't know, it's a bit of a toss up between I Could Have Lied and My Lovely Man. But I don't actually know which one I'd pick. Pay in the Midlands this year, I don't know. Uh, we, well, we, we're playing Newark. We're playing the Flying Circus in Newark at the end of this month. Um, which I can't wait to play live again. We haven't, we haven't played live since October last year and it makes me very angry. <laughs> Yeah, 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 we've got a brand, brand, brand new band name, did a video to announce it. We're called Red Giant. Let's 
That's quite cool, actually. What's that like with a delay? It's not quite dotted eights, but it is fun. Uh, when will John Joe get Greg sponsorship? Hopefully soon. Camera guys, come here. Hello, thank you. Can we get a day in the life of Dave vlog? Ah, that'd be boring. You don't want to see that. It's drab. Right, I'm gonna head for the hills. Actually, I might give it another ten minutes. I'll give it till half past nine, and then I'll then I'll, I'll head for the hills then. <laughs> Be that boring. Oh, trust me. <laughs> Favorite chord progression at the moment. Um, really liking this. Lots of weird stuff going on there. It's really good fun. Also, this one as well. This is, this is really cool. That's fun. Yeah, no worries. Like they do. Yeah. Any plans to give in London? Not yet. Sorry, no. Guitar and go looks like it will break in a few months. Well, you're not supposed to put it on the floor. Um, if, 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 if the weather gets nice enough, I'll do something outside. Yeah, definitely. Sasquatch, what the band? Um, I have heard of them. I haven't heard them, if that makes any sense. How about a gig at Anderton's? I doubt that highly, but... Do you still watch Finders Beepers? Now Andy's no longer that. I do, yeah, yeah. I, I watch them every Sunday. I watch, I, without fail, I watch Finders Beepers. It's really sad that Andy's not there, um, but I think Matt's great, and uh, I, I want to, you know, I, I, I'll always, I'll always watch his channel. And the acoustic vids lined up. Yes, a few. I, um, there's a few. I, I've recently got a resonator that I need to show you all. Oh, that's made it even harder. Sounds like episodes coming to Anderton's channel. Uh, nope. Uh, can we see a red giant rig rundown? Uh, maybe in the future. We'll 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 see. Uh, all them witches. I've I've heard of them. Yeah. Uh, any idea when you'll be playing in the UK in October? No idea. Sorry, no. Honestly, at this point in time. It's absolute hell. This band it is hard work. It's absolute hell. So uh, hopefully things will get better. Thank you 
very much. Appreciate that. <laughs> Have you ever played uh, Briggs' Hall? No, I've never even heard of him. Are you going to be seeing Reddit uh, selling... Are we going to be selling Red Giant t-shirts? Yes, we are. Yeah, we will be doing. Yes, definitely. Without doubt. Uh, have you heard of British artist Ren? Yes, I have heard of him, yeah. I don't have one. I can't wear stuff like that. It makes me... Come out in a rash. Yeah, I hope. I, I hope it. I hope so because at this point in time, is every every new, every day has a new drama, and it's driving me mad. It's driving me to absolute depression. To be fair, I'm really, really had enough. I'm sick of it. Really, sick, getting very, very rapidly sick of it. <laughs> So cool. I need to put distortion on that. It's gonna sound really horrible, but bear with it. Oh yeah, yeah. Really like that. I won't remember it, but I like it. Thanks for having it. No, I always, I always try. I mean, there's there was quite a few things I missed, and I do apologize for that. Bro, my girlfriend. Yeah, it's horrible, isn't it? I, I know that feeling well. Uh, interesting line of... Made of stone festival, yeah. Thanks so much. How did the name Red Giant come about? Um, it came from an Alice in Chains song. I've been... Uh, I, I'm binge listening constantly to Rainier Fog, the Alice in Chains' last album, Rainier Fog. And track three on that album is called Red Giant. And that's where it came from. I was just like, that's a really cool band name. It's a great song title, but I was like, that's a really cool band name. So. <laughs> but worth more money. The DS2 one's worth more money. But uh, but yeah, we will get there. We will get we will get t-shirts and stuff, sorry. At this point in time, I'm thinking of just getting maybe t-shirts and hats. Um, because it's money that we don't have. And again, more video on that soon. Yay. Is the stress worth it, Dave? It better be. Otherwise, you know, I'll have a breakdown and then we'll then I'll say no, it wasn't. But at this point in time it feels like it. But it's hard work. Guitar picks in the future would be awesome as well. Yes, very true. That'd be great. We've got an amazing logo as well, thanks to this guy. Uh, he, he did a logo for us and it's absolutely stunning. It's like a green man, but it's like a sun. It's so cool. So it'd be great to get like, you know, that on like t-shirts and on plectrums and on hats and stuff. It'd be great. I hope so, because it's knackering right now. Really? I've never seen that show. I always like this John Carpet Accord. So cool. Ah, oh, it does, done it? It really does. It is the Walking Dead intro. That's well cool. Uh, have you ever tried a Schecter guitar? Yes, lots of Schecter guitars. They're really, really nice. Really, really nice. There's a Schecter bass literally just here. <laughs> I can't get to sit back down now. There you go. Behave yourself. That is cool, isn't it? What's it like with the after knee? Uh, after knee. Oh, crikey, I've just knocked everything to shit. Loads of reverb, and I've put the cloud burst on. Let's see what happens. Oh, I can't play the riff. Turn the cloud burst on. That sounds cool. Me likey. It does sound very haunting. C major arpeggio sounds just like Stranger Things. I don't know. I don't know how Stranger Things even sound, so I wouldn't that'd be wasted on me. Demented riff, exactly. That's the intro to the album right there. <laughs> yeah. Actually, the intro to the new album is this. You ready? You're getting a teaser here, people of the tube. 
The intro to the new Red Giant album is this. You ready? Can anyone tell which two songs inspired that? That's all you're getting. <laughs> So you're getting for now, anyway. Green Man Alicia, yeah, yeah. That's one of them. Can anyone get the other one? What what other other song inspired that intro, do you think? Green Man Alicia is definitely one of them. You ever tried the Mercury Pill? Yeah, this, uh, no, I haven't, no. Uh, yeah, happy St. Patrick's Day Vault, sorry. Uh, but I just went first. Thanks for signing my golden plexi guitar. No worries. Oh, don't worry about it. You know, I'm exactly the same. I was I was riddled with anxiety at the guitar show. When I read Giant playing Bury, I don't know. <laughs> Probably never <laughs> at this rate. I don't know. Who knows? I can't say where we're playing and when we're not. It's really tough. No, it's not other side, but cool guess. But no, it's not. No, it's not, it's not Chili Peppers related. I will tell you. In, I'll tell you, in, if no one gets it, I'll tell you in one minute. No, nope, no one will get fooled again. Nope. I can't play the Halloween. I don't know the Halloween, Halloween riff. I don't know how to play it. I used to, but I don't remember it. I love the fact that's Walking Dead. That's so cool. No, definitely not Franz Ferdinand. Red, red giant headlines rock and ring, yeah. Uh, if in a dream, maybe. Nope, nope. I love these guesses, by the way. These are brilliant guesses, but no, it's none of these so far. They were an Irish band. Well, they 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 started off as an Irish band, but then they got a Scottish fella and an American in. One of which is his birthday today. There's a hint for you. Again, I'll play it one way, one more time. Again, put Green Man Manalishi out of your head. It's, that is part of it, but there's another part as well. Yes, you got it. Jailbreak. Yeah, nice one. Yeah, Finn Lizzy Jailbreak is the other one that inspired that as an intro. But, you know, it's just, it's just so cool. So, yeah, Finn Lizzy. I might have given away too easy. I'm going to have to be a bit, bit harder on you next time. Okay. I'm going to call it a day there anyway, but thank you very much indeed for watching. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, where is it in jailbreak? Right at the beginning. It's how the song starts. It's how they used to start live as well. Uh, no worries. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you for everyone. To, thank you for everyone who gave a super chat as well. It really helps. It really does. Um, I'll get to modes another time. But thank you very much indeed. Have a great evening or morning or afternoon or wherever it is in your world. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, Kate Bush is on the radio there. And... Uh, See you again. Goodbye now. Thank you very much. I'm off to get some toast and a cup of tea. See you later. Because I'm so rock and roll, man. I might snort the toast. Yeah, cut it up properly. Snort the toast. Make it a bit more rock and roll. You know what I mean? Anyway, see you in a bit. Thank you.